Welcome to this second tutorial of the OxyCoral about basic CV control of a module. I have a simple setup with one CV output going from the Oxy1 into the pitch input and one gate output going to the trigger input which trigger the internal envelopes of the module. Another way to control the amplifier of the module is to patch a CV into the amplifier input. So let's try using an LFO of the Oxy1. Now the LFO has total control on the amplifier level of the module. We can modulate the rate of the LFO1 with the LFO2. Let's see what happens. Another way to control the amplifier level is to use any other kind of modulation, for example a modulation lane. I have one modulation lane here prepared. Now let's try to modulate any of the other CV inputs. We are going to start applying modulation to the attack and decay CV input which control both the attack and decay time of the amplifier and modulation envelopes. I'm going to use the same modulation lane. I'm going to turn this all the way down and I'm going to patch another CV number two into the attack and decay. So let's make the sound really, really sharp. And let's see how this modulation lane affects the sound. So when the modulation is all the way up, the sound is longer and the attack is also longer and softer. When the modulation lane is all the way down, the sound is sharp. So this is a cool way to modulate the sound characteristics. Now we are going to control with the same modulation envelope the filter cutoff. The filter envelope is set to zero, so the modulation envelope has no effect on the filter cutoff. And the filter knob is all the way down. Now let's add modulation to another CV input. In this case, we are going to try with the timber input. For that, we are going to use again the LFO1 that is going this time through the CV input number three. Let's see what happens. So now we have two modulations, one is going to the filter and the LFO is going to the timber input. If we don't want the modulation to affect completely our parameter and we only want a little bit of subtle modulation, we can use the prints to adjust the modulation amount. The first one is for the attack and decay, the second one is for the cutoff filter, the third one is for the harm parameter, fourth one is for the timber and fifth is for the morph. 